And we are back with another episode. How wild is that? <laughs> All right, so today I have a special one for you. We're not just looking at me or Jillian. We're actually looking at a request. So this right here is Sam. And he asked, he emailed me a while back asking me to look at his three turns. And uh, the request kind of sat there for a while because I kind of stopped making skating videos and wasn't doing much of skating. I mean, I was coaching mostly and just working a lot, trying to get my life together. Anyways, um, yeah, back to making more skating videos. So let's uh, make this video. Of course, I emailed him and apologized and asked him if he still wants to do it. I said, yeah, so here we are. Let's uh, get a close look at Sam here, see how we're doing. All right, so now this is good, fine start. I'll keep the feet a little closer together, maybe in a T position. The arms are up, it's a good distance away, so they're not too far to the sides, that's good. All right, let's continue. There we go, there we go, push. Okay, so he's gonna push for the three turn, so he's doing a cross check, that's correct. I'm gonna rise, check, so well, what happens here is you have to watch this shoulder and when you extend this leg. So this is going to be able to stop the three turn, the forward inside three turns. So there we go. Now here, I would like to point this to a little bit, a little bit more parallel with the ice. Uh, overall, it's not bad. Maybe keep this arm a little bit more up, but otherwise it's not bad. Let's keep going. Okay. One big thing in skating is we don't like to bend the knee bone bringing the free leg back in. So you want to raise this hip when you bring it in. And then as you bring this leg in, you straighten this knee, you bring the free leg in straight like that. So that's something to watch out for. I mean, you could bend a little bit, but ideally you would always keep the free leg straight. And the way you don't scrape the ice is by lifting the hip. All right, let's continue. So here... He opened up, I would have rode that edge a little bit more to step forward, but he's got the back of the circle, which is correct. All right, we're going to push forward. You're good. Push in the three turn. I would be careful. So you're pushing through this side. Watch the check. So here we go. All right, not bad. He feel like you're a little bit up in the toe area, the toe box area. I'll be more in the heel. If you look at the axis, you're not quite over the axis there. I mean, you have an axis going this way. This kind of an axis tends to lend to being up in the toe area here, the toe box. So you want to press into the heel and maybe press the shoulder down. One common thing on these three turns is you watch the free shoulder. If it's higher than the skating shoulder, even by like an inch, that means you're being pushed forward into the front of the skate. You have to be in the heel. Let's continue. That's a pretty strong edge. Uh, that's a fine axis. He's inside the circle. That's good. All right. Now make sure you don't fall in, but otherwise it looks good. Good control. All right. So here we go. I'm going to come around here. Press, push back. Okay. So that's pretty good. P uh, point the toe here. So you're a little bit unraveled here. I want the hips a little bit more forward. Now uh, this, what I'm seeing here, um, one big thing, especially as you get older, is you end up fighting your body to do the things that you want it to do. So oftentimes, like for instance with jumps and so forth, you want to be physically capable of doing the things that you want to do on the ice. For instance, you can stretch more, you can condition yourself. That way you're not just struggling with the edges, but also with your body at the same time. Those are things to work on. And I don't know if, you know, that's an issue, but that's something that I myself, you know, being 41, I can attest to that you have to work that much harder to maintain your body in terms of like making, like if you want to have good turnout, you got to work on that flexibility off ice as well. You know, the arch in your back would be nice. Again, that's going to take some conditioning and training. You could put your leg up on a chair or in a box, and then you can bend and rise in the knee to maintain this nice position. I'm gonna pull your shoulders back. So yeah, those are the things to work on here. Okay, make sure I would press into this, right this edge a little longer. I feel like you're opening a little too soon. 
You could wait a little longer for the edge to come around and raise this arm a little bit. Okay, you push. Here we go. Crossover. Here we go. Then did a three turn. We're going to watch this just a couple more right now. We're going to come back. So we did a, there we go. We're going to push back. Crossover. Okay, forward inside three turn. Push back and another three turn. Good. All right, so we're going to watch it one more time. And then just seeing if anything else I'd like to mention. So forward inside three turn. And another, uh, so this is forward outside three turn. And then crossover. So he's doing uh, different two types of three turns, by the way. This is a forward inside three turn. You're going to open up. And then he's going to do the forward outside three turn. Just so that we're clear on what's happening here. So I'm going to check this. Make sure you don't fall in the circle. So on the forward outside three turn, remember the three turns are named after their entry edge. On the forward outside three turn, you want to watch this shoulder to keep yourself from falling in. Okay. You know, push back with like an extension there. Okay, so we're going to do a forward inside three turn, push back, forward outside three turn, check. All right, one more time. We're going to watch it. Again, I am uh, analyzing this video from different angles. Uh, the first half of the video, I was just talking about little corrections and things that look like in the form. And now I'm looking over it more generally. So here we go. We're going to do one of the three turns. Check. I would like the circle to be a little bit bigger. Now, again, this looks like a half arena by the looks of it. It's fairly small, so there's there's only so much you can do in such an arena here. Um, but, you know, you're doing pretty well with it. And for in terms of this exercise, I would also have you do the other direction. You probably do, but that's something to practice. You want to be equally good both directions. And the other thing is, watch that the arms, there's a good check there. See how they kind of swing around and you're kind of going around in circle with the arms? You want to be careful. I want to see a little bit more control of the arms, a little less just kind of like movement. If your arms are always moving, that's not a good thing. That means you don't have enough control over the three turns. There has to be clear points where you show the check, the control of them, without them unraveling. Anyway, there is a lot that I mentioned. Uh, if you just take even 10% of what I said, primarily to show more control, show nice lines. Okay, though that's kind of like the TLDR version. Okay, remember, show control, show nice lines, and then beyond that, bigger and faster is always better in terms of these kind of exercises. All right, show more power, more edge quality, more speed. All right, well, I hope it helps, and I would like to see another video to see where things are at. And if anyone else, if you want me to review your video, just uh, email me, iStancerOleg at gmail.com or figureskateroleg at gmail.com. I use both emails. Either one is fine. And then let me know. I could also do a private review. I asked everyone, of course, you know, if you want it to be published or just a private. Anyways, I'm happy to do it for free, so yeah. All right, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.